next uh, dagger I want to present to you is the Todd Cutler Iris Skiing. Um, originally I wanted to show this to you outside somewhere in the nature but uh, today it's just too windy and so the, the camera microphone did not catch what I said um, or at least, at least not without uh, any disruption by the wind. It's kind of uh, Irish weather today, quite windy, cold and fresh. Um, beautiful day anyways, but yeah, here we go. Um, talking a little bit about the Irish Skian made by Todd Cutler. This is a Todd Cutler Irish Skian. Um, as everything made by Todd Cutler, in general, it is beautifully made. Just like the Highland Dirk I showed you before, all of the details are really well crafted. May it be the sheath or may it be the handle or the blade itself. So first of all, talking about the Irish Skian. So this model here, um, there are different examples which survived. And um, generally speaking, the Irish Skian is quite similar to the Highland Dirk. Um, there is a little bit discussion and different theories about um, if the Irish Skian comes from the Highland Dirk or if the Highland Dirk comes from the Irish Skian or if there was an influence between the two, how much influence medieval daggers had and so on and so on. There are different theories out there. Um, we don't want to, to go deep into that. We want to talk about this specific Skian. Um, Todd Cutler um, made it similar to the Highland Dirk I showed you before with a light wooden grip. Um, but you can see difference here in the shape of the grip, uh, a brass pommel and a brass slide like a disc guard. Also difference here is the skian which was available was only the semi-sharp, so this is not sharp at all. It is very pointy, but this is semi-sharp, so like 0 0.5 millimeters or something like that. Um, you can sharpen it. I think it's a pity that um, when you go into the shop that you don't have the possibility to take a semi-sharp and, you know, pay like a little bit more and say, okay, let's sharpen it and I wait maybe like one or two weeks for it. So sharp wasn't available, so I t took the semi-sharp or you could say blunt one. Uh, no problem at all. Um, I can get that sharpened elsewhere. Um, and also, uh, besides that, the blade is simpler than the one of the Highland Dirk, which I showed you before. But it is very much as the old ones which survived uh, in Ireland uh, looked like. A uh, very slender, um, pointy, kind of triangular blade um, with, a very, uh, with a very thick back here. Okay, so it's very sturdy. It's as a Dirk, mainly a thrusting or stabbing weapon. Um, you can of course cut with it as well, but the the greatest power comes from the thrust. And uh, we can see many uh, historical um, pictures of where Irish kerns and warriors use Irish uh, skians. <laughs> Just like with the Highland Duke, you can see the mark here uh, of Todd Cutler, uh, which looks again very beautiful, simple but beautiful. And there you see the handle. Now the handle, um, you can see some historical examples which could be like this, but there are different types of handles on Irish skians. Some look more similar to the Highland Dirk, uh, others look quite simple, quite different. This one, um, I think I saw one or two examples on pictures which look kind of similar and you could say maybe there is this brass reinforcement and this kind of disc shape um, brass guard and the round simple brass pommel. But I don't think that this one is based on a particular one but just inspired by different 
historical ones which survived and also by the different pictures we have. I also like the sheath. The sheath is um, not as decorated as the one on the Highland Dirk, but it has some you know, reinforcements here. It's beautifully stitched and what it has is already a loop to carry it in your belt. When you look on details of historical pictures, then you can see that they carried this with simple loops. So this is already quite uh, nice. Would be cool if that would be also offered on the sheath of the Highland Dirk. You can, you know, make a tie uh, or a knot yourself, but uh, this is already a good belt loop for a solid carry. It has no brass um, down here, so it has a simple leather sheath. And as all knives and daggers by Todd, Cutler, it comes in different colors. I decided to take the dark green one um, just because I thought this would be something different and also, you know, dark green in Ireland that uh, somehow goes together hand in hand, I would say. About the history of the Irish skiing, I can highly recommend you to go to Nathan Featherstone's uh, channel, aka Rambling Kern, and he has a very good video, not, about, not only a review and a test cutting video with uh, the Todd Cutler skiing, but he also has a video about um, the history of the skiing, where he goes a little bit more into detail. Um, generally speaking, um, there are three types of uh, Irish skiers, shorter ones, medium-sized ones, so like this one, like the Highland Dirk, so long, slender, dagger-like um, skiing, and there are also much longer ones, which you could count more as short swords. Um, this one here um, has a nice size, a nice weight, um, as I said, the blade has a thick back, a big, a big thick spine, and it's quite long. So you can use it in this dagger grip, um, as we can see on some depictions with the index finger up here. The brass guard, I thought maybe this would be, um, um, yeah, like being a little distraction to the hand, but it isn't. So if I hold it like this, so this kind of, uh, let's call it Fairbairn, uh, knife fighting grip, like a foil grip or saber grip. If you hold it on the big spine with thumb in the saber grip, if you hold it in the ice pick grip, even then, I mean, it, it cuts a little bit into your palm, but it is it is edgy, but not, not uh, hurtful edgy. Okay, so this, this feels quite comfortable. And also with the, um, with the index finger grip, which we see, it also works. It's not, from the grip design, not optimized for that. So the Irish uh, Dirk by Todd Cutler is much better designed for all these grips. However, with this grip, which is quite simple, it still works. Um, the shape of the wooden grip, and you see the pommel here, is quite round. And I thought that would be an issue for edge alignment or for um, holding it uh, proper, I thought maybe this could turn into your hand, but surprisingly not. It has a slight uh, flat here and is slightly oval shaped, so it's just enough to give you a good um, feeling whether you have it in a knife grip or whether you have it in a dagger or index finger grip. Um, so this works quite nice. I was surprised about the grip. Um, generally speaking, I would change some things on it for my personal preference. The length of the grip is good because uh, it is um, fitting in your hand as it should, okay? As we know from Highland Dirks and also from Irish skiing, grips could be quite short, so you have it really in your hand. Uh, and in some examples, they are as short that you don't see them anymore when you hold them. And this one here has, I think, a good size. I have, I would say, a medium large hand, so like glove size, uh, large or extra large, somewhere in between, depending on the shape of the glove. But for my hand, I would say this is quite good. For smaller hands, it's perfect. For much bigger hands, it could be a little bit uncomfortable with the disc pommel here. Um, but generally speaking, a very, very fine made um, Irish ski and, and, you know, something different. You don't, you cannot get really much reproductions of, of a ski and, uh, of the big companies. As far as I know, no big company ever made one. Uh, they mostly make Highland Dirks, um, but also smaller knife makers or workshops, they, they don't offer much. And for the price, it's really a very good knife. Okay, it's well made, it's, it's from a small workshop and it is historically kind of accurate or accurate enough um, if you want to have for reenactment purposes. 
it is a good knife if you want to have a good fighting knife uh, and also it is still beautiful in display. Final thoughts about it. Um, I can cannot say anything bad about it. The, the blade the blade is perfect or I would say the blade is really really great. Handle could be improved in some ways. So my personal taste um, would be without the disc shaped um, guard um, and um, maybe the grip a little bit wider and a little bit flatter in the profile. But generally speaking this is a very nice um, iris ski and, and you don't get uh, much um, reproductions of this in this high quality for that good price. So can highly recommend it to you. Check out the links down below and yeah, see you in the next video.